Today, we're gonna to talk about how to fix sciatica. I've done quite a few videos on sciatica. This is an updated video because there's one stretch that I think is gonna help you the most. So I'm constantly trying to find faster ways to fix things and less complexities. And this one's very, very simple, okay? So the first question is, uh, what is sciatica? Well, it's pain that can come from your lower back that radiates down the legs, usually in the back part of the leg. The sciatic nerve is the longest and widest nerve of the body, okay? And it usually um, originates from L4 to S3, which I'm gonna show you right here. Here, you have five lumbar vertebrae, right? One, two, three, four, five, okay? So the sciatic nerve starts at L4, okay? This nerve right through in here and includes L5 and then some nerves from this lower part called the sacrum. So all these nerves form the sciatic nerve that goes right down through the back of the leg. What you need to know is that 90%, the great majority of sciatic nerve pain involves a disc, okay? It can also involve degeneration of the disc where the vertebrae start to become collapsed and you get these thinner discs, okay? And this is why as people get older, they might have more sciatica type pain. Now, the interesting thing about disc problems is that when you look on an x-ray or an MRI and you see a problem with the disc, it nearly always comes with a loss of the lumbar curve. It's called the loss of lordosis, where you have this natural curve in your lower back. So if you have sciatic pain, chances are you lost the normal curve in your lower back. So normally it should look like this and you look like this. When you lose the curve of your lower back, you decrease the space in the spinal column. So now the question is, how do we get this curve back? What you're gonna do is you're going to do a stretch that involves uh, a foam support, a low back support. You can call it like a foam block or a low back support, but it needs to be firm enough. So when you lay on your back with this support, it gives you significant pressure in this direction to start putting this curve back. Now you can use various things. This is like something I found, I think at Target. Um, it's a low back uh, cushion. You can use something like that. You can use something like this. I used to sell these. I don't sell them anymore because you can very easily um, buy one of those circular foam object and then cut it in half, okay? So this could be your support. You can even leave the whole thing intact and lay with your lower back in this area right here, okay? Or there's other foam devices you can get that are more corrective for the lower spine. So you can see this shape right here, okay? So if you were to lay on this, you would lay, so your feet going this way, okay? And your head going this way right here. And you'd wanna lay, uh, so the peak right here is right at this center point about L3 or L2. And so when you lay on this cushion, what you're doing is you're creating this constant stretching of these ligaments, muscles, and tendons. Now here's the secret. Are you ready for this? When you lay on this, device, I'd say the first 10 to 15 minutes even will go so far where it will make you feel really good. You'll get relief, but it's not going to correct the curve. Okay. It's kind of like you're just tapping into the elastic part of your lower back where it's like a rubber band and it just gradually comes back. However, there is some fantastic research that talks about increasing the time laying on the support. So if you were to lay on this support for let's say 20 minutes every day, or even a little bit longer, what you're gonna find is it, it's gonna to start to correct uh, this curve because it works on the deeper ligaments to create like a remodeling, uh, reshaping of your lower back. So what you wanna do every night is lay on this for about 20 minutes. Now, the problem is that when you lay on this cushion, um, your butt probably is going to be raised up and it's going to be very uncomfortable at first. So maybe you start out with 10 minutes and you gradually work up to 15 and then maybe 16 minutes, but do it gradually because when you stand up, you're going to feel really stiff and sore, but realize what you're doing is you're putting this curve back in slowly over time. 
So you might want to gradually do it maybe with a pillow underneath your butt, but just keep working at it every day until you can hit like 20 minutes and feel comfortable on the support. So even though your sciatic nerve pain is gone, continue to do this because ideally you want to correct this curve so it doesn't come back, especially since the number one killer and the thing that uh, reverses this lower back curve is sitting, which a lot of people do on their desk all day. And then they watch TV and they're slouching down and they lose this curve. So this is a way to put it back. Now, if you haven't seen my video on low back pain, uh, you should probably check that out. I'll put it up right here. Check it out.